He's here. Who? Luke Mercier. I saw him plain as day. I have to get him to autograph this. Mr. Mercier! Mr. Mercier! Ah! Don! Good morning, Sally. What are you doing out here scaring the living daylights out of me? <laughs> Patrolling. The marshal and the corporal are escorting the uh, stage out of town, and they left me in charge. Did you see a man go by here a minute ago? No. This man? Uh-uh. I was sure it was him. Where do you think you're going, Luke? I told you, this is as far as I go. You want to ride with our gang? You go all the way, pencil pusher. Imagine what happened because I saw him plain as day. I looked right out the window and his eyes were the same as the magazine. Sally, well, I Sally, it was just your imagination. If my imagination could conjure up eyes like that, I would be a happy woman. Ladies, good morning, Dom. You need some help, Dom. Oh, I'm uh, just making sure everything's all right, Marie. Um, Sally tell you I was guarding the town? <laughs> um, where are Clive and Jack? They received word that the stagecoach was going to be held up at daybreak. Oh. I'd better get back out there. I'll be back later. Nice to know we're safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going through with this. You don't, you're dead right now. Come on, it'll give you something to write about. And we get split up, you know where to meet, huh? Now, Luke, you stay by my side. I'm going to show you how a real criminal operates. Now, here's what we do. Ride with it all the way to Helena, boys. This has been a waste of my time, Craddock. We haven't seen a soul on the road. Well, the stage gets robbed now, leastways we ain't wearing it. Besides, even down the thrill of a lifetime, ain't we? Come on, Sally. Sally, could you watch the store? I have to get my bag. Let me go, Marie. All right. Maybe you'll see your mystery man. <laughs> OK, boys. Let's go. Wait. When did you start giving the orders? Wait for the woman to get out of the way. All right. Let's go. Put your kerchief on your face. 
Oh, sorry. Let's go. Train, you circle around back. Right. Jackson, get on in. your money. We don't want to hurt you, partner. I'm the law here. Don't try it. Which one are you? Corporal Bennett or Jack Craddock? How do you know? Said no one would get hurt. Why are we stopping now? I told you. I'm going to show you how a real criminal works. What? You don't think I'm going to share this with those two fools? I hide it here, I get myself fixed up, and then I come back and get it. <laughs> I guess the Callums are not as brotherly as the criminals I write about. Start digging, Mercier. With what? With your hands. I'll never get it buried in time. Well, then let's hear an idea. Jason found the golden fleece by opening his eyes. Speak English, pencil pusher. Up there. You get up there. Now! You having a good time with the Callum gang, Ryder Man? <laughs> I'm finding it very enlightening. You think you know people pretty good? Try to. It's part of my job. So why would I cut my brother out of the loot? Cut a stranger in. What are you doing? Hold still. Sign of the gold, that two time and low life bottom feeding. Seems to be breathing. Don't seem to be hit. In my case, didn't shoot him. Probably because he took his shooting lessons from you. Get over here, doctor. You better save him. Well, that was 
real stupid, lady. Put that thing away before you hurt somebody else. Now, maybe the doctor done us a favor here. How's that? We cover our tracks, and anybody who's behind us will follow Casey's horse. What about Casey? Leave him. He ain't going nowhere. I shouldn't have left. Look, you want to put the blame for this on me, you go right ahead, but I'm more interested in catching that. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like? You're staying here, Dom, resting that head of yours. They took Sally. I'm coming. Dom, we'll deal with this. And Marie's coming back to fix your head. Bennett, I said I was going. I can't go in there. Come on, lady. No, really, I can't. Get in there. Come on back here and grab hold of this horse. Scared of the dark? I ain't scared. Then go on. Don't rush me. Real simple, honey. If he lives, you do. If he don't, get in here. One of them went out this way. What about the rest of them? Can't tell. They covered their tracks. We have to do something with this one. Leave him there. He ain't going nowhere. So come on. You're the one from the General Store. How did you get here? I'd be obliged if you didn't speak to me, sir. I'm not a thief. My name is Lou. I know who you are. I've read almost everything you've written. Oh, an admirer. Hardly. Now be quiet. I have to tell you something. I'm not a doctor. Jack! Mr. Mercier. All right, now get to work. I'll do what I can. You do whatever you have to. Just make him better. It's all right. You're not really a doctor. I'm not really ill. What's your name? Sally Duffield. What do we do now? Wait. They got Sally. Dom, when that horse has had her fill, she'll lead us right to them. You should just take them to the money. Wouldn't help. We can identify them. Trust me, it's my business to know human nature. Well, at least one of us does. What do you mean? I was an admirer. I didn't know it was a thief I was admiring. I'm not thieving. I'm researching. A man in Border Town was hurt because of your research. That make-believe Marshal? Was he doing anything different than I was? Do you honestly believe that? He was play-acting, and he got in trouble, same as me. He was trying to protect the town, not steal from it. Sally, this is the first time I rode with outlaws. I thought I could get out. I made a mistake. <clears throat> Look here. 
How about just telling us where the loot is? I've had a terrible fall. Can't really remember. Well, you better remember by the end of the day or you're dead. Then you'll spend the rest of your day searching. Mercier, you Frenchies is partial to the ladies. If you don't recover, she's dead. Let go of him. With pleasure. Oh, oh ma'am, when you're done fixing him, could you get us some coffee? Are you all right? Just small bruises on bruises. I wish I knew what I could give you to help you. That vial. This one? 70 days on a pirate ship. Page 33. I'm Mickey Finn. You are an admirer. How would you like to try giving those two a little something extra in their coffee? Come on, you finished. Don, she'll go when she's ready. Slow down there, Don, you'll spook her. How long do you think they'll be out for? How should I know? I hope you haven't killed them. Killed? They'll be all right. Now, let's get out of here. Isn't there another way? Wouldn't be much of a hideout if there was. Would it? Luke, I can't go in there again. Sally, we have to. They could wake up any minute. You'll be all right. There's nothing around here. We never should have waited for that horse. Oh, I don't know. What's your thinking on it, Corporal? Well, she's not going any further in here. I think I found it. What's that behind you? Stop that, Mercier. You're taking us to the money. Now. I'll show you where the money is, if you let Sally go. You ain't exactly in law position to be bargaining. Jackson, there is someone behind you. Oh, no, there ain't Mercier. I wouldn't bet on him. Don't shoot. Please. Deserve it. I guess I didn't choose the right gang to ride with. Any gang is the wrong one, Mercier. I know. I tried to get away, but I couldn't. Where's the money? I'm disappointed in you, Corporal. 
McDougal of the Northwest would have found it by now. <laughs> yes. But uh, would McDougal of the Northwest let a bank robber go? Excellent point. The best place to hide something is in clear view. Corporal, I've been thinking. You and the Marshal are in a somewhat unique situation. How's that? A Mountie and a U.S. Marshal sharing jurisdiction. How'd you like to see that written up every other week? Doubt there'd be much interest. You must be suffering from writer's block. You think? Nah. You know, Sally, I've never written about a heroine before. Luke, you wouldn't. It's one way to keep you reading. You saved me. I am obliged. Mr. Mercier! I'd never forgive myself if I didn't do that. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sally. certainly know how to scare a body. He's a real adventurer, isn't he, Sally? Mr. Mercier? Mm -hmm. More of a fool. You let a fool kiss you? He begged me. I didn't think it charitable to refuse. Well, I don't think you should kiss any man that strikes your fancy, Sally. Does that include you, Dom? Well, I wasn't thinking... That... You were so heroic. Well, I just do what I have to do. So do I. 